Hello, fellow teachers and YouTubers. I uh, just wanted to do a vlog type post here on how to automate your finances, how to make them very simple to work with. So you don't have to worry too much about, you know, putting in money this day or that day or moving around funds. Uh, a lot of teachers out there are very busy. I'm going to be teaching on Monday and been prepping the last few weeks. I had a lot of things to do with teaching AP biology this year. So there's a lot of prep work to go. I'm just getting my whole classroom set up. We're actually doing a new scheduling system as well. So because of all these things, I don't have a ton of time to be worrying about my finances. And as a teacher or many people in other professions, you probably don't have a lot of time as well to deal with all of your finances. So I just wanted to go over some strategies to keep your finances automated so that you're reaching your goals without having to go out of your way to think about what I have to do. It just happens automatically, okay? One of the biggest things you could do is the second you get your paycheck or say the day after you get your paycheck, put money into automated savings, whether it's retirement funds, extra payments on your loans, or retirement accounts, okay? So let's go dive into a little bit more detail on these videos. Um, as for this channel, I'll still continue to be making videos Wednesdays and Saturdays. I got about five more videos ready on the pipeline. Um, it might get really hectic with teaching, so I'll have to see at that point if I can continue two videos a week, which I do plan on doing. So um, let's get right to it. All right, guys, here's a simple article on how to automate your money in five easy steps. Uh, some of you guys might not even need to do all five steps. could be four steps. Uh, I typically only need four steps as well. So just to keep it easy for you teachers out there, especially if you're very busy or other people in other professions that are really busy, it's an easy way to go about your finances. So first, you're going to be getting your paycheck. Your paycheck, remember, already lost money from taxes, health insurance, and other things like that. From there, some of you guys might have an employer-sponsored retirement plan, whether it's a 401k, 403b, or 457. For teachers out there, the 403b is a very common way to go about it. Uh, for non-teachers, a 401k is popular. Notice that this money will come in or go into that account before you pay taxes. If you do a Roth version of these, some of you guys might have a Roth 401, 403b. Those Roth options will be after tax money, but it comes in before you even see your paycheck. That is a very good way to go about investing, especially if the fees are reasonable slash low. Uh, I personally wouldn't want to recom wouldn't recommend investing in anything that's over 0.5% in your investment fees because you're going to lose a lot of money to these other accounts. Some 403B plans might be 1% to 2%, which is way too high. After your paycheck, you're going to be going to your checking account. And in your checking account, you're going to see a lot of different avenues to go to. Okay. In this particular system, we're going to assume that you have no credit card debt and you have maybe a small amount of car loans or low interest loans. Okay. From your checking account, I would recommend putting money into an emergency fund, put money into your investments. Right here and right here are the two most important for your financial future. Investments could be an IRA or Roth IRA, some college savings. I'd recommend if you max out these first two bullets, then you could go to your taxable accounts. You might have some short-term goals like a vacation. Let's say you know your vacation will cost $2,000 in the end of the year. Save about $200 every month beforehand, and you'll have plenty of money for your vacation. Maybe paying down your loans and whatnot or down payment on a house. Some money should be going into that right away when you get the checking account. If you have no credit card debt, I would recommend going from your checking account and have most of your bills go to your credit cards. It's as long as you're paying your credit cards in full every month, you could actually get some pretty decent benefits there. I personally get about $25 a month in credit card money back from <clears throat> my different accounts that I get. <clears throat> so everyday expenses, bills, memberships, as long as you're able to pay off those bills before the statement balance, um, then you'll be in good shape and you could get some extra rewards. So here are some five steps to do it. Step one, <clears throat> open the appropriate accounts for your automated system. 
you want to find the accounts that would be right for you. Checking account is a good first place to go. Checking account should not have any fees to it. It should be very easy to get your money out and should be a good service. I typically use a credit union because when you're a credit union, you're actually part owner of that particular credit union. If you're one of the big banks, they might charge fees and their bottom line is going to themselves. The only aspect I might work with with banking is to invest in different banking stocks. So pay yourself first. After you have that cushion, you want to make sure the sum is going to your emergency funds and your retirement savings. Typically, about 5% of your paycheck should be in an emergency fund, and unless it's not fully funded. Fully funded, recommend around three months of your expenses into there. And then I would recommend about 10% into your retirement savings. Let's say you get a check for $2,000, move your decimal point over, you should be saving $200 a month. Then set up your payments for your other bills and expenses. I automatically, automatically set up my credit card where it pays off the statement balance before it's due. Okay? So in that way, I know that I'm never going to have a late fee and I'm never going to have to pay in interest charges. Okay? You should also do that for other bills and expenses, um, like electric bills, water bills, any type of cable, internet, stuff like that. <clears throat> Set it up so it automatically pays, so you don't have to worry about writing a check or going to your credit card and paying that off every month. It makes it a lot easier once you have them all set up. Then automate your contributions to your investment accounts. I set up my Vanguard retirement Roth IRA where the day after I get paid, money automatically goes into this particular fund. I don't have to think about, oh, I better put in my money today. It automatically does so. What I try to do is to, at times, go above that if possible. If I know that I have plenty in my checking account and I know I'm about to get paid, I might put a little extra into my Roth IRA at that point. But at least put something into these funds at a regular you know, day after you get paid. Only step five, this is an optional step, but recommended. Increase your automated transfers over time. So if you get a raise, uh, most teachers might get about a 2% raise every year. I'd recommend saving 1% of the raise or half of your raise into these automated retirements and emergency funds. Okay, By growing these funds over time, you'll significantly improve how your retirement will be. Okay, okay let me go over Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam takes money out of your paycheck because they know they want to get paid first. So it comes out before you even see your paycheck. I recommend that you guys should all be doing this as well into your retirement accounts or into extra payments and loans. Okay. This is one way to easily get ahead. It might only take a few minutes to get started and it could show a lot of benefits there. Finally, I just want to quickly go over my YouTube page. Currently at 1,132 subscribers strong. When I started doing regular videos on this investing channel, I was a little over a thousand views and that was a little over a month ago. So in the last month we got over a hundred subscribers. Uh, definitely like seeing the um, contributions. A lot of you guys will be commenting very relevant and informative comments there. Um, I'd like to continue this community going strong. So if any of you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave any comments down below on any videos. I read every video comment left. I'll typically respond to that comment within, within an hour. Um, definitely let other teachers know that might be interested in how to improve their finances. I know you guys are a lot busy with doing a lot of things. So one of the easiest ways, just click one of the videos. And then so you see- So you've decided to go furniture eh, shopping. Oh, sorry. Click one of the videos, just click on that like or subscribe button. It'll be on the bottom here, okay? If you want any help with your investing, again, I'm doing so free as charge. So if you need to, just leave a comment down below or email me at lancekaminski at gmail.com. If you have a very simple question, like how do I automate this? Like how do I set this up? Um, or even more advanced topics, like I'm thinking about this particular fund to invest in. What were your thoughts on it? Feel free to leave a comment. Definitely like the community and this interactions that we're having. And um, for teachers out there, let's have a great year. 
Don't worry too much about your finances. Just keep them automated and just let those ball rolling, keeping proving those dividends. Thank you very much, guys, and have a great day.